Hey everybody, it's channel with nobody else's auto. Well, I hope spring is here. We got a nice, bright, sunny day. Gonna shoot some really great video for you. Thanks for stopping by and checking them out with us. Let's start off tonight with a Chevy truck. This is a uh, late 40s, early 50s era Chevy truck. I believe this one was like a 48 to 50. Uh, I don't see any vent windows in this truck or any signs that it ever had vent windows. That tells me that the solid one piece glass is typically a rule of thumb of 48 to 50. And since I don't see any signs of this having vent windows, I'm gonna go with this one was a 48 to 50. This pickup was, a, I believe, a three quarter ton. We can see where the 3600 badges were at on this truck. Not a lot here, it was a, it's just a chassis cab, there's no bed. However, one thing about it, this cab does look pretty good. We got a few little spots of rust here. But we look down here in these corners and things like that that are typically gone, and this old cab looks pretty good. The roof looks pretty straight on it. We'll come around and take a look at the back. And even the back looks pretty good on it. Corners have a little bit of rust in them, which is pretty typical, but that's that's pretty minimal for one of these. So this old truck here, not a lot left, but what's left looks pretty decent on this cab. We come around the other side. This door is missing, lots of parts inside of it. Some garnish trim. Got the filler panels for a long bed that go in front of the rear fenders between the cab and the fender to fill that panel, that area up. Still got those in there. So still some good stuff here. These old late 40s, early 50s Chevys, I've got tons of these things. If you need one of these cabs, I might have 50 of them. I've got at least 30 or 40 of these cabs. So if you're doing a truck like this, and I've got complete trucks that can still be saved, I've got miscellaneous sheet metal, I've got tons of these things in stock. So got any questions about any of that stuff, give me a shout. Next to the pickup, we've got a 72, I believe, Ford, full-size 72 Ford, LTD. Now, a lot of people are going to watch this video and say, well, that's junk, smash it, get rid of it. No, I don't want to do that because that's what happened to all the rest of these cars. These cars were not saved. That's what a lot of people thought. They were junk. They were derby cars. They were destroyed, crushed, and they're all gone. Well, if you've got one, you're trying to fix it up. Maybe you've got a nice little convertible that got hit in the front or something. Where are you going to find a fender for one? There's not a lot of them out there. This little car here has been here a long time. The hood's obviously buckled on it. But and it is just a four-door. But if we open the doors, take a look inside. There's still all the dash pieces and stuff in there. And there's still a lot of good stuff. And even though it's not the most popular stuff in the world, there's not much out there to get for pieces. We come on around the back, step over this mercury here. We look at the back, we've still got a bumper and everything. Oh, and look here, Spruels. If you've been with us on some of these videos, just notice a lot of the Fords are from Spruels. That was the local Ford dealer back in the day. So this is a local car, been here been around Great Bend its whole life. So even though this isn't the most popular thing, for a lot of people there's not a lot of them out there and the parts are tough to find so i've got no problem keeping this stuff around we'll make our way back through the weeds over here around the other side and the other side's about the same fairly straight old car the fender's got some dings and dents in it but it's all still savable stuff other than the hood so we're gonna keep it around so next to that ford we've got a 65 ford galaxy this car also a four-door, missing some pieces. Typical rust, dings, dents. I don't know if this door will open up, it's stuck. The dash is still in this car. And we're missing the left front fender, but the rest of the nose is here. The hood looks good, fender, grill, bumper. It's all still here on this car. So there again. It's just an old four-door, it's not that exciting, but there's a lot of good salvageable pieces on this stuff. So, last one we got for you tonight, which is kind of a car. We do have another Mercury here. We uh, saw a look at a 51 here a few episodes ago. This one, I believe, was a 49 or 50. As we all know, these cars have been extremely popular for a lot of years, and this car has been cannibalized hard. Um, you know, I'm sure a lot of these pieces went to fix a two-door. But there's still parts here. You know, there's rear quarters, the rear lower fender shirt pieces are still there. There is some good structure here. The car doesn't look extremely rusty, but uh, obviously it's been pretty well picked. So still bits and pieces, but that's about all we got left of that one. But it's still a 49 or 50 Merc. So definitely not something you want to throw away and throw into the crusher. 
So anyway, that's what we got for you tonight. We hope you enjoyed it. If, uh, if you're watching us on Facebook, um, please like and follow the page. If you're on YouTube, uh, please subscribe. Um, I do post these videos on Facebook first and then transfer them to YouTube right after that. So um, YouTube guys, uh, I'm getting, I've gotten enough uh, subscribers on the page. We're going to try to start doing some live stuff on there. All my live stuff has been on Facebook and then transferred to YouTube after it was live. So I'm going to get to work on some of that stuff and try to bring you some live stuff on YouTube also for you guys who weren't on Facebook. So as always, if you got any questions about specific cars or parts, give me a call, 620-786-4428. The number's on the page. Let me know what you're trying to build and what your goal is for your build, and I'll let you know if I've got something out here that can help you. And uh, as always, thanks for watching. I appreciate you swinging by, spending a few minutes out of your evening with me. It's not any fun if I don't have you guys hanging out. So thanks for being here, and we will catch you on the next episode.